Hello, it's Keith from KMA's Corner, and how are you doing today? This is episode number 30 of KMA's Jams, just another Minecraft series. And today, we are going to do some nether tunnel designing. We're probably not going to finish it, but we're going to design some nether tunnels, because I have a bunch of new tunnels to make and design, because I have a bunch of new places to go to since I was out of work for a while. So let's go on my horse. I, ow, ow. <laughs> I've decided I'm gonna use horses as a means of transportation around the, uh, the nether instead of using rails and stuff. Um, even though I could half slab all this and put rails on it and the zombie pigmen will not spawn, I just decided I have, I'm gonna have so many skeleton horses might as well use them and where else do you want to use them why not the nether right so the net and the nether the skeleton horses are going to be my means to transportation and so i want to make sure i have all the paths See, like this path right here i die if i go down on a horse so i gotta make a path um that looks good in here so um that's what we're gonna do we're gonna design a couple more tunnels over here also to the uh, Guardian factory and stuff. I gotta make all that and design that and also to the mushroom place to uh, The mega taiga where I get the podzel, which I haven't done yet <laughs> But I will um, And that sort of stuff and also um, Another thing that I'm gonna do is now that we're gonna I've decided we're gonna use horses We're gonna make stables wherever there's an ending spot so like over here we're going to make a stable to hide a horse, uh, probably in here somewhere. Depends on where the last tunnel I'm going to make goes. Because I only have one more tunnel to uh, figure out. And then that will be it. So, I'm going to get a little busy. I'm going to take down some of this wall and we'll see what we can do. Oh, and one last thing. Exuma made a video this week with a um, Elytra launcher. I think we're going to build one of those this episode too, so we have a place to launch up and I can basically go wherever I want in this world. Yeah, that is right, Spooky. Spooky Kafuki. Yeah, we're going to make an Elytra Launcher. Elytra Launcher. <laughs> an Elytra Launcher. Launcher. So let me get uh, some work done and get some stuff down. So basically what we're going to do is... Um, we're going to... This particular tunnel um, goes to the end, or the stronghold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And um, so we're going to use purple, the blocks that you can get from going to the end, and also end stone, and also um, we're not going to use those, but we're going to use that right now to light this area up so you can see what's going on a little bit. So this end stone brick will be the um, block that will be like the diorite in this tunnel. Because all my tunnels, I've told you in the past, will basically be the structure, just different um, bricks and colors and stuff like that. That signify where you're going, so you know where the tunnel is going that you are on. So, in this particular one, the pillars are going to be these endstone pillar things. That's not endstone pillar. What are these? Purper pillars. Another block I've never used before. And um, let's stick a couple right here. No, actually, you know what? I'm going to try something different here because I want the entrance to actually use all spaces here so I think I'm gonna put the endstone whatever per per pillar uh, right there on the corner here so you can kinda come in and it widens up a little bit it's kinda weird but I think that's gonna work um, and this next layer I love gas noise Excuse me, bone. Get out of here. I know you want another golden carrot. I've given you so many golden carrots by accident. So sorry about that, but you're not getting another golden carrot. Not just yet. 
So, I also have the just normal endstone up here. Do I have... I got one glowstone on me. Well, the glowstone will go right there in the middle. But not at that level. It's actually going to be one block back. So let me click this back one. And stick one there. And the rest of this will be obsidian. Yes, I... I'm in love with obsidian right now. So, um, I'm just putting the blocks up that are going to border the end tunnel. Um, run here. And basically, I wish I had another glowstone. We're we'll, we'll going for a ride in a second to get a piece of glowstone. But I want to put up the ceiling. And, excuse me, sir, I don't want your nose in my face. Yes, that's right. No nose in the face. This is what the tunnel is going to ultimately look like. It's just going to be this recreated just all the way down to there. So it's not going to be that great a tunnel, but it will definitely tell you where you're heading. So it serves its purpose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, probably finish the rest of this tunnel and then we can work on another tunnel, or maybe we'll be right back and I will show you a launcher. But most likely we'll just end up doing a tunnel, and um, or two, designing another tunnel. Uh, same sort of design as this, but with other blocks, because um, that this particular tunnel way down there goes to the Guardian Farm. So we're going to use like prismarine blocks and stuff like that to finish that tunnel. But I think this... Uh, will be a good, nice little, small, easy tunnel to make. So I'm going to get to work on this, and I'll be back when it's done. All right, guys, I am back. And as you notice, in the top left-hand corner, I have set my camera properly. The beginning of this video, I derped pretty bad, and my camera was all messed up. I had it misaligned and all that great stuff, so now it is aligned properly. Sorry for that. And also, another thing, it has been a while since I recorded that first section, and they came out with 1.9.4. So I'm playing 1.9.4, and seeing that they haven't um, done the Optifine yet for 1.9.4, um, my clouds aren't up. I do have my sun and moon, but the only thing I can't do is the clouds, because uh, in order for the clouds to work properly, I need to do the Optifine, and Optifine 1.9.4 has not been released yet. And probably will be released later on today. So enough of the gibberish. I have a new machine I want to show you. This machine may look pretty familiar. Um, if you watch Hermitcraft, you've seen X Zuma make this machine. And I decided to try it out because it looked like way too much fun. So I made it the original way that, uh, what was it? Zekru Zo so crazy fool. The crazy fool made. I initially did his tutorial. I was having trouble. I was dying probably one every four or five times I was doing it, which is fine because I don't mind dying. I mean, it kind of sucks, but I don't mind dying at my base because it's at my base and I can recover my items pretty cool or pretty fast, I should say. But then X uh, released a video and made it a little better, made it a little safer. Um, but the problem with this is I made it so close to the ground. I suggest when you make this, um, you make it up a little bit higher because your downward momentum, once you get shot out of here, you're still kind of going down. And if you don't um, click your wings fast enough to make yourself fly or look up, you tend to go right into that hill back over there um, and die. But I am learning how to use this. It's much better than before I've died maybe twice out of 30 times using it so it's just me trying to get the hang of it and so let's try it on cam um if you don't know this is an elytra lantra oh, an elytra lantra elytra lantra and um let's just go up and when you go f down this uh stairs down here towards or stairs ladders down towards the boats you look up and click the space bar on your way down, and when you get shot out, you'll go up. That is, <laughs> that is the goal. And for the most part, uh, it works much better now, but you might be just witnessing a death right now. Nope, 
There we go. Up, up, and away. Look at my thing. Oh, it might be behind my cam, but 410 is where I am. So, I just kind of float down because I don't want to lose myself. I've realized I can go close to a thousand blocks this way, so I do plan on putting these elytra launchers around the world um, so I can get to places. As a matter of fact, I can get to my super secret project <laughs> with this launcher um, from here, and that project is four or five hundred blocks away, so it's pretty easy. So basically, I'm going to make a tower around this uh, golem farm, and when I'm done with the tower, you can see the things there, um, I'm going to put the elytra launcher on the top so I can be higher up, so there's going to be less chance of me dying. And I'm going to take down the one I just flew out of. Um, because it is good here, but it's a little close to the ground. So if you mess up, I'm not going to make it. Am I? Nope. But if you mess up, um, you can fix it by, uh, spread my wings and fly. <laughs> you can fix it because you're not close to the ground and you can just, you know, click on the elytra after you get out. So enough of the elytra launcher, let's go look at some tunnels. As you see, I do have a horse over here. Um, from when I get in, come out of the um, portal. But I've lost all my skeleton horses that I initially had from the Guardian Temple. You might have remembered the video when I uh, brought them all in here into the nether. But bringing horses into the nether is... A tricky thing because for some reason when you teleport you teleport to the correct spot in the nether but I think other mobs horses in general when they teleport I'm pretty sure they teleport to the same exact coordinates from the overworld to the nether so if those coordinates are in lava or if they're in a block the horse is gonna suffocate and the fastest best thing you can do is jump on the horse while it's suffocating looking like it's suffocating in the obsidian and try and ride it out of the obsidian. But what also happens, because I do not have the stable set up in this area yet, if I let go of the horse here and let him just wander around, he's going to walk into this um, portal and go through the portal to the overworld, and he's going to suffocate into the um, obsidian barrier here. So I've lost all my horses from just like jumping off of them and going through the portal, and they just wander into the portal, then they suffocate to death. So, um, I have to be careful until I get the, um, stables all fixed up, and I don't want to do that just yet. So let's take a look at what I've done with some of the, um, tunnels. And here's this tunnel. I'm pretty sure I had this done in the last video. I forget. Um, but as you see, the stables are actually in the end of this particular tunnel. But I've worked on the other tunnels a little bit and done some designs and I just want to kind of show you some of the designs and show you how I build these tunnels a step-by-step -step way. And as you see, this is the Guardian Temple way. Um, it's straight. The first tunnel went over that way to where my uh, blades farm is. So that's why this tunnel stays the same because this was the first one I made. But once I get past this corner, it turns into the Guardian Tunnel. So, I still have some supplies and stuff out here, so uh, ignore this. I need to bring some of this with me because I need to do a floor. Um, <laughs> yes, prepared YouTuber. And, let's see, I'm gonna... Oh, I don't have space to drop. We can just get rid of some of this, throw that in there. Is this... Um, is more important than those blocks. I get shit ton of these so this tunnel right here around the corner is gonna go to my <laughs> my uh, wither factory oh we don't want to do that um, I almost killed myself because as you see there's a hole down there and I didn't have this block right there so I jumped to try and make it two blocks and I hit my head on the ceiling here like a derp and it stopped my momentum and I fell straight down and almost killed myself, but luckily there's a ledge right there, so heart stop for nothing. But this is the design. I don't usually use quartz because quartz is a pain in the ass to get. I'm sorry, it is a pain in the ass to get. 
um, and I don't really like to do it. But uh, for this particular tunnel, I'm going to do the quartz, and it's going to use up a lot of quartz, but it looks really good, so I don't mind. There's quartz in this, the floor, the quartz there, the quartz pillars, and all that stuff. But I do like the look of this tunnel, and I can't wait to see what it looks like when it is done. I'm pretty sure it's going to look okay, but uh, we're not going to work on that one today because, like I said, it goes over holes in the nether, and I want to concentrate on that one so I don't die. I want to lose all my good stuff but do i yeah i still have my fire resistance which is good but i think falling into lava from that height will kill me anyways this particular tunnel is pretty long it took a whole bunch of time but it's been a while since i've recorded so i had a bunch of time to do it so now um the tunnel to the right goes to the mushroom island so i had a design pre-planned for this sorry i didn't do it for you guys on cam but this is the design this is the design i chose so we got the mushroom block, we got the smooth stone, we got the um, oak wood pillars, we got the mycelium bordering it, so I kind of thought, you know, so usually I have um, the same block down here as up here, and mycelium looks like dirt from the underneath, so I just put dirt up there. It kind of looks okay for what it is, and it's a short tunnel, and this very last one I'm going to put the stables in here, so when I want to go to the mushroom island I can jump up, throw the horse in here and it's not gonna end up wandering into the teleporter and killing itself like all my other horses which is quite the pain in the butt so we go farther down this tunnel and as i see it's kind of got that uh the shining hallway feel that terrifying the hallway <laughs> expands in front of you um look that horror movies like to do uh, because this tunnel is long and it's a repeating figure that repeats every nine blocks or eight blocks and um, I kind of like that feeling and all my tunnels are gonna have that feeling but this one especially because it is a really long tunnel so as you see I have um, supplies ready for this tunnel which is going to the Mesa and as you see I picked <laughs> did a lot of digging uh, to dig out this tunnel I used up both of my uh, unbreaking three pickaxes all the way down my diamond ones and I mended them both up again and used them all down again so actually i used four diamond pickaxes with unbreaking three to make this tunnel but i've learned that if you clear out the space first and then you can sp uh, spam blocks later to put down the floors and the ceilings and the walls and stuff it is much better and also i have this set up for the jungle and these are the obviously um, the jungle thing, I'm going to be careful because I'm using wood in the nether again and, um, you know, if you have any lava blocks hidden in the walls close to your wood, it will set it on fire and that's no good. So after you build it, you have to kind of make sure none of the wood's going to catch on fire. And this is the end of the main tunnel. Um, it will turn here and it will still be the guardian theme over on this side. And all I got to do is have some fun. No is uh, finish the tunnel to these two uh, portals out here. The one straight goes to another mesa, so this little stretch right here will be the mesa theme again, and this uh, little stretch right here will be the guardian uh, tunnel look. So, I am at the location I need to be at to build this tunnel, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little time lapse. I'm not going to do a third person time lapse because I don't have a second camera account to hook up and land with his account which i probably should be doing pretty soon um just because it's nice to see a time lapse from a third person view than instead of first person view we're gonna do a little time lapse of me building this tunnel not the whole tunnel i'll just do little clips and just speed it up and um i hope you enjoy
Alright guys, I am back and uh, I've done a lot of work, but unfortunately I had to take a couple of days off because I ended up back at the hospital again. What the hell is that all about? But anyways, I had a complication from my earlier surgery, missed another week of work, which means I was able to do a lot of work, um, but not much recording because um, most of that week uh, work, or most of that week away from work, I was sitting in a hospital bed. Not fun, but let me show you some stuff that I have done. Um, <clears throat> I had shown you that I was working on the nether tunnels, and we had done this one. I think I worked on this one on cam, and you saw me work on the other one with the time lapse, and I made um, the stables at the end here. Each one of these tunnels will have a stable at the end. So I like the purple one. Obviously that goes to the end and also I'm gonna make some banners that determine You can look at the banner real quick and tell where it's going uh, And now we got the Guardian temple one obviously I actually changed out the cobblestone half slabs and replaced them with the stone ones because there's too much of this kind of pattern going on you got um, th This block that has that pattern this block has that pattern and this block that has that pattern and um, also the cobblestone slabs had that pattern. It was just too much of that pattern. So I had to break it up and put in the stone slabs. I also realized I've been putting in the wrong blocks in the edge here. So I had to replace them. Initially I had this block right there, but it's actually supposed to be this block. So the whole 350, 400 <laughs> uh, long block long tunnel here, I had to replace. Basically two stacks of uh, cobblestone blocks and stuff. It's no big deal because I'd rather have it look good So it took, did take me a, an hour or so to do that But it was definitely well worth it because if going down this tunnel, I'd be like, oh my god Look at that cobblestone. It doesn't look right. <clears throat> I finished this tunnel off <clears throat> Excuse me with the nether quartz and With the quartz I should say I don't usually use quartz that much But it really makes this area look bright and I'm thinking I'm gonna add um, those over all the glowstone. I don't have them all f filled in yet because this is just something I'm working with and I think it looks much better with uh, the um, what do you call these things? I don't even remember what you call these things right now but I think the glowstone looks much better like that so I think I'm gonna do for this tunnel uh, cover up all the glowstone with those. Uh, what are those? Gates? I don't know. I've been playing Minecraft too long, it doesn't matter what they are, I know how to make them and I know what they look like and I can put them on a wall. <laughs> it's all that matters. So this one's all done also, and this one is to my um, Wither Skull thing. And I'm going to have banners that have the Wither Skull and I'll put it there and there so you guys can tell. And also at the beginning, I'll have banners to show which directions to go because I do eventually want to put this world up for download and I just want to make sure it's easy enough for people to get around because <clears throat> I've downloaded other worlds like Hermitcraft and stuff and they get you see the people do it on Hermitcraft and stuff and you're like ah, I know how to get around the server and you get there and it's like oh how do I get there oh how do I get there so we have this one going to Mushroom Island uh, you can tell by the um, the mushroom blocks and I also added the <clears throat> the stable at the end so the horses I also been adding this at the very end of each one just so there's some space behind the portal plus it kind of looks like that glowstone is following you and I'm not sure if I'm gonna add um, the wood gates over these lights or whatever but we'll see what happens it's still a work in progress I think it's a little bit uh, farther down for the next tunnel I haven't actually finished this because even though um, I've had a lot of free time to do this work, there's a lot of work. This tunnel itself is hella long and takes forever. And there's a block I gotta replace. Mm -hmm. I gotta, I'm just gotta go pick up one of those. Um, because I missed it when I was replacing all those and I had one of those. And I need one of these. So the next part, let's see where it is, is to the Mesa. And I finished the Mesa one also. Mesa goes this way. And this is what you saw in the time lapse. And I, there's the cobblestone um, hash slabs, and I got just a mesa colors. And I don't know if I'm gonna cover the um, glowstone in this with those wood 
that what are those things called trap doors yes the wooden trap doors but um I think this looks pretty good it's definitely what I need to do um, for ease and making the world look good and stuff and as you see I have the thing behind here again and I got the stables on both sides and you know the, the glowstone follows you <laughs> I kind of like that um, it's kind of cool and I'm working right now I'm working on the last tunnel I was gonna do for the video but I've basically run out of time tomorrow is Monday I have to edit this and render it then I gotta upload it and Mondays I'm going back to work tomorrow so I'm not gonna be home all day tomorrow I still got a shower as you see get prepared for work I look like a hobo and um, I also gotta get rid of these chests because I can't be leaving these chests out here and this is the last one I'm working on which is to the jungle as you see it's a work in progress just just keep an eye on this side and um, I you can tell like I these blocks you can find in the jungle temple same with that because I didn't what else are you gonna put in here to signify jungle and I think believe it or not the logs and the slabs and stuff look good here so I'm quite surprised I used up all my vines I had um, close to 20 stacks of vines and I used them all up to make this tunnel and I still have some more vines and stuff and it's kind of sad because one thing I noticed when I was cutting out this particular tunnel I used my silk touch which is my work pick um, for cutting it down and I wasn't paying attention and it was an efficiency five and the keyword was was it was an efficiency five on breaking three silk touch mending pick really good freaking work pick and I wasn't paying attention I just used up all of its freaking durability and it just broke on me and I'm like oh man so I'm gonna have to replace that pick and then I've been using the fortune pick since and unfortunately I've been having to um, make massive pillars if you follow me on Twitter you would have seen this tweet already I've had to make massive pillars four or five wide all the way to world height 256 and using my fortune 3 pick to break all the stone so I can have cobblestone so I can make these things because my normal work pick is silk touch and you don't get much cobblestone and these builds have had a lot of cobblestone so once this is done once this um, jungle um, tunnel is done all I have to really do is this little section here so it's gonna take a right here oops and it's gonna be the guardian theme all the way up here and um, whoop, I see you lava good thing uh, there's no wood in this I burnt down a whole bunch of wood too it sucks playing with wood and the nether so um, the guardian tunnel will come around here then take a quick left then I'll just make a little tunnel here for another Mesa because this goes to a second Mesa and the reason why I have two Mesa tunnels is because this Mesa had no yellow or brown clay so I had to find a mesa that had yellow and brown clay and that's that mesa down there so this is all I have to really do to get it done so I am like 90 95 percent done with this whole thing and let's take a ride through how long this tunnel is give you an idea this is a pretty long tunnel and um, I don't know I had a uh, second monitor for a while that allowed me to stream because streaming is so much easier with a second monitor I like to play full screen on my computer and I also want to talk to people who are in chat and so playing full screen with one monitor and keeping an eye on chat is almost impossible and I thought I was gonna you know I have a um, Kindle fire and I figured with the Kindle fire I could watch chat you know put it down on my desk and watch chat on that while I stream but then I realized that Twitch chat doesn't come up on Kindle Fire and it's not on the Twitch app which is really sucky so um, I ended up jerry rigging a second monitor the AC adapter was bad and I kind of soldered a couple of points but that AC adapter finally died but seeing that I've missed a whole bunch of work I've missed um, what seven out of the last eight weeks of work 
I am kind of broke, so I can't afford to get another AC adapter for a while, so I'm not going to be streaming for a bit, but I do plan on streaming the grindy parts that I do on this world. So, um, what else I need to do is I'm going to put a another uh, stable here for my main area. I might redo this to my packed ice area area because it's different than all the other ones and I might actually move it right here and have it go down that way and um, that's gonna be a future project over here is my way to my villagers and um, I will say this is also to my super secret project and I'm gonna have to stick a stable at the very end of this hallway and at also over here I'm gonna have to stick a stable at the very end of this which is the way to my sand pit where I get all my sand um, and I go there a lot because I use a lot of glass in my my world so I'm gonna have to add a stable down here right here and also this is to my little um, AFK mob farm via like mumble jumbos type mob farm uh, where the stuff falls and it dies and You've seen me be there before. Um, and I got to put a stable down here. Then the whole nether network is done, except for one more tunnel I have to make, which is to the Mega Tiger, so I can have a tunnel go into Podzil. Because Podzil, I still don't have Podzil in my world. And that's kind of a shame for um, what I've done. So I am going to get out of this nether real quick and uh, talk to you one more second. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I did show you this earlier um, in the video. I just wanted to say I am. This is just temporary where it is now. And I just saw that um, Tango Tech just uploaded another version that doesn't create lag. And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to use that one. It looks really pretty redstone intensive. And I'm not on a server, so I think if I move this out of the spawn chunks a little bit, actually, no, it's not going to go out of the spawn chunks. It's actually going to go. Where is it going to go? Can I see it from here? Um, let me get over here real quick. Run through the door! Nothing blow me up. I, I'm making a tower around this up there. And as you see, 1.9.4 Optifine is now up there. So I got clouds again. <laughs> this video is all over the place. Um, at the top of the tower, which is close to world height, I'm going to make one of those things. And um, because, you know, I don't want people to see the Gullum farm there because it looks ugly as sin. I'm gonna make this huge tower that goes to world height, which is actually that's world height right there um, where that glass is. I don't know if you can see it up there um, because that keeps this from uh, freezing, which is a good thing because I guess right now 1.9, you can't make these things anymore. Floaty water doesn't exist. So if those break, that's it for floaty water in this world. So I'm gonna stay away from that. But um, I'll make it a tower over this and I'm gonna stick the launcher on top of the tower. Maybe I might stick a real quick portal over there that will make it so I can jump in the nether real quick in here and uh, just go like 20 blocks and then jump in another portal and end up on top of the tower so I can launch off. So I'm now with that said, there's a reason for it. My super secret project also has a tower. So it would be kind of cool to have an Elantra, uh, Elytra launcher on that tower also. So I can just Elytra launch back and forth because um, when I go over and I head towards the other tower, I can actually make it and I'm going to head towards the other tower and I'm going to cut this video as soon as it shows up. But let me get a little bit lower um, because last time I did it, the tower just showed up right underneath me. This is a super secret project and you're not going to see it, but I just want to just show it's going to show up in a second. Yeah, I just flew by it. Oh, I really flew by it. So no, you're not looking at it over there. So that is it that I'm going to use the portal over here. I'm going to kind of make it so nobody can see. Oh, no, you're not supposed to see that. <laughs> Okay. Yes, this is it for today's episode. I believe this is episode number 30. KMA's Jams. I hope you enjoyed it. It's kind of a weird episode. 
ended up back in the hospital again, had a bunch of time, did a whole bunch of extra work that I wasn't expecting to do, but now I'm gonna be healthy. I, I'm on like high blood pressure medicines, high cholesterol medicine. Take care of yourself, eat healthy, don't end up like me. Because at 45 years old, you don't want to be taking a whole bunch of prescriptions, and that's where I'm at right now. And it's not cool. So, um, I guess I will say back to the regular scheduled program next week, and I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But, have a great day. It's Keith from KMA's Corner. It's KMA's Jams. Hope you enjoy it. Hit the like button. Follow me on Twitter, and I made a Facebook page. It's called About KMA's Corner. So, when you're on Facebook, type in about KMA's Corner. I was unable to get into my KMA's Corner page, but everything I do on social media, if I like a video on YouTube, if I make a tweet and whatever, it goes to that page. So if you want to follow what's going on with me, go to Facebook about KMA's Corner. That is a page I am going to keep, keep up to date. <laughs> yes, that's the word. All right. So have a great day. I'm having fun. You're having fun. Let's get this world a going. And we're on the race to 50 so I can do a world download and show you my progress with my super secret project. Yeah. So see ya.